touched um, what's one of your biggest takeaways from Yeah, I mean, it was still kind of the same stuff that I thought post game. Just little things that I need to fix. The offense as a whole, we need to fix. Just little stuff that in the past has made us lose games. And you know, luckily, we that stuff didn't make us lose this one. But you know, as we continue to get down this road and get more and more into Big Ten play, you know, as we want to go, want to know every week, we got to fix that stuff. You've got three offensive linemen that played this past weekend that will not be playing this next week. Just what has it been like working with the, the new group of offensive linemen? Yeah, I mean, Coach Rayola has all those guys ready to go. So I trust whoever he puts in. And also, I mean, I trust those guys. You know, I've built a relationship with all of them over these years. You know, Teddy. You know, we came in at the same time. We've known each other since high school. You know, obviously he's recovered from a couple injuries, but you know, I trust Teddy and you know every, anyone who Coach Rolo puts in. You take a lot of hits, obviously. What's the weekly build like to to get your body back up to go do it again? And have you kind of learned some things, you know, uh, going through this year about that help you with that process? Yeah, I mean, it's I I've <coughs> seen you know my freshman year watched Adrian battle through some of some really tough injuries. I mean, he's one of the toughest guys I think I've ever seen. Um, you know, obviously last year we had injury problems going through the season. You know, Casey got hurt, Chubba got hurt. Um, so, you know, just watching those guys and how they approach recovery every week uh, has helped me. And also, I mean, we have a great medical staff who, you know, stays on top of everything. So, you know, I'm in there. I'm in the training room. I'm them out, even if, you know, it varies week to week. You know, some weeks I'm, I come out on Monday and I'm perfectly fine, but other weeks it's just like one hit, so I just got to get that fixed. It sticks out to you about uh, Ryan Walters, known as a defensive guy. Um, when you watch what they're doing and obviously what he did at Illinois last year, what, what, what jumps out to you? Yeah, I mean, it feels like it's kind of Illinois 2.0. Um, you know, we. I think we did a good job against Illinois offensively. Obviously, there's there's stuff that we always want to get better at, you know, and now we have a chance because, you know, Purdue and Illinois, they may not be the exact same defense. They may have different tendencies, but I mean, it's it's another shot at an Illinois-type defense that, you know, we may be struggling against, couldn't punch the ball in. And, you know, that game, we a lot of small things down in the red zone, and, you know, we need to be able to execute every play this week. Justin Evan Jenkins popped right in there and played like 40 snaps. Uh, seemed like he belonged. I mean, what you probably watched him grow, and what, what have you thought about him as he's kind of developed into the role he has now? Yeah, I mean, he came in and he looked like a, I mean, he kind of looked like how he is now. You know, he's ready to go from day one, and, you know, he's developed mentally. You know, he's even, you know, physically, he's gotten stronger. Um, learned, I mean, you know, I'm not an expert in, O line, but it seems like he's developed a lot up front, you know, just technique wise. So, you know, I mean, it's it's impressive when you can go. You know, he took reps last year at center, and he went to left guard, and he went to center. You know, it, when you can just bounce back and forth like that, that helps an offense out so much, especially when you know, you're going through a stretch right now where we're down a couple guys. How have you seen that that young group of wide receivers just? in practice their confidence grow with kind of what they've been asked to do the last few weeks? Yeah, I mean, they're they're starting. They realize what the work that they have to put in now off the field so that they can recognize it on the field. Um, Malachi is a great example. I mean, that's a guy that came in, you know, didn't quite know how to how to do everything, you know, how much effort to put into this, how much effort to put into that. And I'm not saying that he was lazy. Um, you know, he works his butt off, but, you know, he's starting to realize the um, the gain of putting all that work in. And I think some of those younger guys are going to keep coming along too. And, you know, a lot of them have been working really hard and they're going to get their shot and they're going to capitalize on it. Coach Satterfield was saying that Coach Rule was running the scout team defense today. What was that like out of practice with them getting so involved in your guys' preparation? Yeah, I mean, anything that Coach Rule does is with intent and intensity. Um, so you know, no matter what he's doing, it's it's going to be really 
energetic. Um, it's going to be his really close to perfect most of the time. So, you know, him getting those guys ready helps us more than a lot of people recognize. He's pretty animated then, huh? Yeah, yeah, he always is. But, um, you know, he gets he gets everyone fired up. So, you know, that scout team was running around um, looking like Purdue, ready to knock our heads off. But we were coming right back at him. All right. Thank you, Thank you guys.